Today, humans dominate all ecosystems on planet Earth. They modify and alter them, often irreversibly. Some scientists consider that the Earth has entered a new geological era, one mostly influenced by man's activities, called the Anthropocene. Since the first industrial revolution, the abundant use of energy has led to the development of even faster and more efficient transport networks, ensuring the supply of food and materials to populations. This is one of the key elements that have allowed the number of densely populated urban areas to grow exponentially. As these megacities expanded, they continually extended their supply areas, and today the exchange of resources between cities is worldwide. But this model of spatial organization has serious ecological consequences and contributes to the depletion of resources the degradation of ecosystems, and the increase in population. In the face of increasing environmental constraints, this ultra-polarized urban system is no longer viable. It has become necessary to think of a more resilient distribution of human settlements. Team Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes proposes to develop the notion of distributed urbanism as a tool for transforming the territory. France has experienced a rural exodus since the 18th century, which has been reversed since the beginning of the 2000s. Some urban dwellers are moving to the outskirts of cities in search of better living conditions. Others are moving to more remote rural areas. Despite this, these rural populations remain relatively dependent on the major urban centres. Our team proposes to accompany and structure this exodus so that it does not generate urban sprawl. As Antoine Bresse suggests, the question is, on a given territory, what is the most efficient, attractive, and ecologically sustainable distribution of its population, along with the activities and services it needs? A connected question can also be, why build here when an existing heritage has been abandoned elsewhere? Let's see how this notion of distributed urbanism applies to a study area stretching from the outskirts of Grenoble to a former medium-altitude mountain resort. Over two years, we designed several projects that work in synergy and deal with important themes. Housing, to remedy a lack of provision through renovation. Education and leisure, to give children a place in a medium-altitude mountain environment. Health, in order to reinforce access to medical care in sparsely populated areas. Agriculture, in order to develop a local production that is complementary to that of the neighbouring areas. Tourism, to make the area attractive again. And finally, local services, to complete this approach by promoting connections on a local and territorial scale. Several of these projects are located on the Col de l'Arzoli, the Arzoli Pass. This site is characterised by its exceptional landscape, and in particular two famous peaks called Agat and Sufi, and its former ski resort, Enclosed. The area is clearly declining, but has an important built heritage with very high potential for renovation. Our objective is to revitalise the pass by initiating a new dynamic through the development of activities that encourage people to settle there for good. One of our key projects is the renovation of a vacant hotel, a building typical of the 1970s, which is projected to house a so-called third place and a residence cooperative. The project builds on two significant features of the local landscape. The concrete building structure resonates with the stark minerality of the mountain peaks, while the omnipresent vegetation is echoed by a structural framework made of fibrous materials. This added structure is the material translation of the building's adaptive capacity in the short term. By securing the building's capability, we are ensuring its future resilience. The project works across all scales. Starting from observation, we seized on an organisational principle of the local territory. The aim is to revitalise the site 
in particular through the rehabilitation of existing built heritage. And a built demonstrator makes it possible to experiment with the proposed solutions. Beyond the Solar Decathlon competition objective, our future goal is to carry out the project in its entirety for the benefit of the community.